Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you all my Sephora recommendations for this upcoming sale. It starts November 1st for Rouge. I will have the dates on the screen as well as the code you need to shop the sale online. All the details that you need will be in the description box as well as on the screen. So happy Sephora sale shopping. I actually recently did a top three favorite product video in each category. So if there is a category of makeup that you wanted a recommendation for, go check out that video because I share all the categories of makeup and a lot of those products you can actually get at Sephora. But if you have specific requests, I'll happily accommodate that in the comments. So leave them down below and I will help you out. I wanna save you guys some money. Now's the time to pick up those products if you were looking to purchase something. I have so much great stuff here. If you follow my channel, I think you're gonna guess all of these, <laughs> honestly. That's how much I've been talking about these products. They are home runs, every single one of these. I cannot get enough. And these are what I think are worth your money during this sale season. So thank you so much for clicking on this video, for wanting to know my Sephora recommendations. Thank you for shopping my links if you choose to do so. I love you guys so, so, so much. Even if you're just watching this video, leave a comment, share everything you do. I love you so, so much. <laughs> And let's jump into my Sephora recommendations video. Sephora collection is 30% off and it starts November 1st as well. You do not need to be rouge to shop Sephora collection products. So just know that, I know a lot of people don't know, but that starts November 1st too. So if you have separate Sephora collection products you wanna pick up, get it the first day of the sale. That's the best time to do so. Sephora collection is 30% off, so it's always something great to check out. I'm a huge fan of Sephora collection. If you're new to my channel, I love Sephora collection products and I have two that I wanna recommend. One that's new for this sale season. One's an oldie but a goodie, I feel, but if you haven't checked it out, I feel like it's one of the best ones on there. I actually have three things. I almost forgot the other one. This one product you haven't even seen on my channel yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you guys know. First and foremost, if you have not tried the new skin tint from Sephora collection, what are you doing? <laughs> this is so, so good. It's not getting enough hype. There's so many complexion products on the market right now, but this is top tier. You need to try this out. It has such good shade variety, undertones, the finish of this, the wear, how this looks on the skin. It looks like skin, but just better. It is so good for wear. It's smoothing on the skin, hydrating, everything you could possibly want in a base. It's a fairly good price on Sephora, but if you can get 30% off, this is my daily wear product. You need to check this out. Number one recommendation this sale season, 30% off. I wanted to start with something affordable that's a favorite and that I feel like not enough people have checked out yet. Skin tints are my everyday wear product and this is my number one recommendation. So I had to start off going strong, but this whole video, you're gonna hear me rave about so many things. This isn't new this year. I've actually recommended it before, but if you're going to be shopping Sephora collection, you have to check out their colorful luminizers. This is like the Dior Universal Highlight Palette quality, that palette that I always rave about, but in singles. So if there's a specific color that you use more than others, like me, you can get them in a single. And this specific highlighter right here, if you're looking for your facial highlight, and you're similar to me, this is the best undertone I've ever found for my skin tone. It's sparkling honey. I've said this before on my channel, but you have to check out this highlight. You can make it light, beaming, whatever you wanna do. It looks skin-like, doesn't emphasize texture. It checks all the boxes. Amazing, amazing formula and a good price point. This formula is incredible. People do know about this one, but if you have not checked it out, you're looking for a highlighter. I have this in my inner corner today. I love it for inner corner work. I've used the pink as a lip shine on my lips to kind of mattify, but give a glow. There's so many ways that I use these highlighters and I had to mention it in this video. And then something new that I actually got this from my cousin. She got a bunch of brushes from someone she knows and she let me go through and pick. I had not tried this one before and I picked out three different brushes, but this one reminded me of my BK Beauty 109 brush. I love that brush for foundation or for any sort of cream application. You know this style if you watch my channel. 
I use this all the time. So for Sephora collection, this is their Pro Foundation brush, number 47. Picking up a brush during the Sephora sale is a great thing to do. Brushes are an investment. I love the F4 from Makeup by Mario. I'm not even mentioning it here, but I probably should. That's my favorite brush of all time. This is like one of the ends of the F4, but if you're strictly just looking for foundation application, Sephora collection, 30% off. Had to let you know about this because of how similar it is to a 109. I want everything to be 30% off, but I was starting off with what everyone can get a 30% off discount. All these I would recommend regardless of a sale or not. <laughs> so we're going into more complexion. This won't surprise. This is new from Huda Beauty and it's their Easy Blur Foundation. And I get questions comparing this to the Sephora product and I wanted to address that here. If you're curious as to the differences between these, they both have similar sort of lightness to the product. This almost feels like a skin tint. The only difference between this skin tint, this foundation, is that this has a little bit more coverage to it and they both have similar wear. I would say the Sephora might wear a tiny bit better on my skin, but they're both very similar. This is more matte, this is more hydrating, so it kind of depends on what you're looking for. I personally feel like they're different enough to warrant even mentioning both of them, but I know people have been asking me to compare, but to me, they're different. This is more for glam, like we're looking today. I can build this up to be pretty glam on my skin. I have baklava and toasted coconut. If I were to purchase this again, I'd go for a neutral though in my tan shade, but I've been mixing these to make them work. I use toasted coconut. When I have no tan at all, it's a light medium. Works literally perfectly for my natural skin tone. So this for foundation, for glam, for smoothness for my skin is a must have. This is a recommendation to those who have porous texture like I do who maybe want to amp up some of their other products. I've used this product with every foundation since this release and it works with every single one of them. It is a silicone free primer. It is also from Huda Beauty. It's their Easy Blur Primer. This is so good for my pores. It also helps the wear of my products, but I feel like mainly this is for smoothing the skin. If you have pores or texture, like me, I do not have perfect skin, but this helps me achieve that kind of smooth finish that I'm looking for, that poreless finish. This gets my skin there for me. So I love this sort of formulation. It's very similar to the Blur Jam, which I raved about previous. It's just a little bit thinner. You need a little bit more of this because of that thinness. It's just so it can get out of the squeezy tube. So that's the only downside. I would have just rather had it in the jar just because I needed way less, but I still love this. I don't know why they got rid of that, but this is still good. You don't have to dip your fingers in the jar. So I guess that's the benefit of it, but it's a really good primer, had to mention. This powder, let's all sing together what I have been raving about. It is the Makeup by Mario powder. This gives me the most flawless skin ever and it's not drying. Does my skin look dry? It doesn't look powdery. It doesn't look flaky, dry, nothing. It is smoothed out, doesn't dry me out because a lot of powders do and just looks so flawless on the skin. I have the shade two neutral light. It does work for me. It is a little light for me right now. So I could go only sparingly with this on my skin. I do want to get the peach shade. I've been recommended that by you guys, that color and that tone, whatever your skin tone, pick up one of these powders. It is so smoothing, not drying, not cakey and just looks immaculate with skin tints, foundations, whatever you're using this to set this will be so good for you. Underneath my eyes, setting the whole face, whatever, this will tackle the job and it has been the best smoothing powder. We have a million blushes, so I'm going to mention some of my favorites and why I like them. I'm gonna try and go pretty quickly through this just because there are so many. We have the Kali Ray Blurry Blush. Not surprising at all in the slightest. This is the most blurring blush on my skin and it is a cream liquid formula, which is crazy for this to look that good on my skin. So I'm in love with the formula, the color, the packaging. I have the shade Dope. You need to check out this formula. If you have issues with your cheeks and that's your texture area like me, check out Kali Ray. Then for those who have more dry skin, if you wear more skin tints every day, 
I love this, but I did use it for a full face. I wanted you to see how this actually looks for full face of makeup as well. These are the Hourglass Liquid Blushes. They're absolutely incredible pricey but worth it to me enough for me to mention it in this video these are my personal three favorites especially this one that i'm wearing today i really have been getting into reddish tone blushes terracotta blushes those are just what's working for me this is a reddish blush it's the shade imagine from hourglass i'm wearing it on my cheeks today it gives me that most beautiful flush and then I've also been using Vision and Future a lot as well. You can kind of see tonally what I'm into. They do have pinks if that's your thing. I know those ones are probably the most popular and I'm not mentioning the most popular ones from Hourglass because I like these tones. <laughs> for me right now, I've been reaching for Imagine as I said. It looks intense, but honestly, you can make this look so natural and stunning. These just always make me feel hydrated and healthy looking, and I love the formula. They're not patchy. They can go on top of a fully set face. All these liquid blushes can. Else I wouldn't recommend them. So all of them have impeccable formulas in terms of their wear and application, their ease of use. And this one is no exception. That's the new one from Huda Beauty. And this is that bronzer trend. It's in the shade Latte. I fell in love with this. When I was filming that Huda Beauty video, every single product in that video, I fell in love with. So you need to check out this color. If you want a brown blush with a slight bit of pink to it, it's mostly brown though. It is stunning. Go check out that video to see it applied, but I had to talk about this. It's very similar actually to the Hourglass in terms of the formula I felt when I applied it to my skin, which I only noticed once I was comparing them side by side today. Different kind of application method. It has a more hydrating formula, which I like, very easy to use, and you can really build this up if that's something that you like, which I do. Some of these hourglass ones are so pigmented, like this one right here. I like the more buildable colors myself. That's what I like in a blush. For the bronzer trend, I have one more blush and it's powder. House Labs Fire Moon. You can see the kind of colors that I'm loving. I think these are beautiful going into fall, but these are colors that would give you such a beautiful effect in warmer weather too. It's really year round colors for me that just are so suitable for my skin tone and just look so good. So I am in love with these sort of tones. I wanted to give my powder option cause I've been using this a lot too. And that's all the blush. I know a lot of blush. I couldn't pick just one. All of them have special features to them, whether it's the color, the finish, the formula. If you're looking for a new blush, I definitely am not <laughs> cause I have way too many. But if you are, these are my top recommendations for the sale. Lip filler in a jar. At least this is how it acts on my lips. It's the Laneige Bouncy and Firm Lip Treatment. This for the hydration of my lips, for smoothing out the lines of my lips, for making them just look their absolute best. This lip treatment, don't get any other during the sale. You need to check out this one. This is a top recommendation as well. I just feel like my lips have never looked better since using this Laneige lip treatment. It is so so good so highly recommend checking this out as i said before it's like lip filler in a jar for me which i've never had so i like a little bit of plump and fullness to my lips and that's helping my lips just stay that way even though the cooler weather is coming it's really helping my lips and then for my lovely friends in the us who can get these please pick up some of these for me <laughs> while you're shopping they're the touchland hand sanitizers i love them so much so steph if you're watching i have a list of like six of these <laughs> that I want you to order for me and I will pay you back. This hand sanitizer, not this, I was gonna say flavor. No, not this scent for me. I really love the mango one. I wanted to get their limited edition fall scents as well. So these are just good keeping handy in the purse. I just love the spray on them, the convenience. I bought all these in Florida and this is my last one I have left, so. I need more of these. I believe the Inky List will be on sale. I've seen sponsorships talking about the Sephora sale for Inky List and being able to get a discount. Inky List is already really affordable and I was gonna recommend this during the sale. It's the Omega Water Cream, which I've been using as my moisturizer prior to makeup. I've fallen in love with this. It's like the Tatcha Water Cream, but affordable <laughs> and it's just as good, I feel. They have a duo pack 
of this and their caffeine eye cream that's on Sephora, which I saw while I was filming another video that I'm gonna link instead of this one down below because you get the eye cream in it too, so why not? So I love this. If you're looking for a lightweight moisturizer prior to makeup, you need to check it out, so affordable. And the caffeine eye cream, I've gone through two of those already. So it's a great little set to check out. Another brand I've recently fallen in love with and started checking out a lot of their products is Say. And I have their blushes on my wish list that I wanna get a set of, but I've fallen in love with these two products. This for a primer, it's the Say Glowy Super Gel. They do have a duo of this. Mine's just a small mini sample. I love this for bronzing up the skin, adding a glow for everyday use with skin tints. This would do nothing <laughs> with the amount of coverage I have on right now, but for my skin tints, this is so pretty for every day. And my number one is this liquid bronzer. That's the shade Swim. This undertone works for when I'm tan, for when I don't have a tan. This tone for me is so gorgeous to bronze up the skin. It has this glow to it if you apply it on top of a set face or you can mattify it by putting your powder on top of it. It really is so versatile and the color is just perfection. Easy to use, doesn't lift, blends out like a dream and highly, highly recommend this if you're looking for a liquid bronzer. If you're not looking for a liquid bronzer, I'm telling you to check this out <laughs> because I personally wasn't and I fell in love with it. So had to talk about those two say products, palettes, these are my two recommendations. They're not gonna shock you because I did two dedicated videos on these and I fell in love. And I keep getting asked, which one would I pick over the other? And quite frankly, I personally would purchase both. If it was me, I'm just saying I would purchase both. These palettes are different to me in terms of formula and color story. This is the Makeup by Mero Ethereal Eyes Moonlight Palette. It is so pretty and I love the topper shades in this palette. I feel like most people though, probably I would recommend the Huda Beauty. And I'm gonna tell you why once I get there, but this formula for me, for the mattes, I like more. For shelf life, I feel like the mattes in my old ethereal eyes have lasted better than the mattes in the Huda Beauty. So I wanted to start there in terms of formulas. I like the suede matte formula better in the Makeup by Mario, but if you're just basing this on color story and those kind of topping shades, I would go Huda Beauty for this. So I would recommend this to the most people only because I feel like it has a little bit more versatility in it, unless you are really wanting that black shade and the blue to really make things glam, then I feel like this can go more glam. This, you can definitely do glam, like look at those sparkly shades, but it also is more daytime, it's a little bit lighter, so take that into consideration if you're purchasing this as well, but I can get way more looks using this palette. I did another look using this palette today using some of the more warm tones just to show you where you could take this palette as well, but this can also be very glam. It depends on what you're looking for. Both are fantastic palettes. Both I personally recommend, and I think if you picked up either or, you'd be happy with them. It just kind of depends as I said, on color story, whether you want that depth in the color of the black and the blue, or you're into more lighter shades. They both produce beautiful looks. I prefer the matte formula in this one, but the color story probably in this one. So I have pros and cons of each. So hopefully that helps you decide if you were deciding between the two, but I personally love both. This eyeliner from Hourglass and Chestnut, I've been using all the time. I have it to line my waterline today, and I just feel like this adds a subtle reddish undertone that really brings out the green in my eyes. So I like to add this to like every look I do. So pretty. Then if you're looking for lip liners, the Freck Beauty Lip Pencils are the longest wearing lip liner I've ever used. So if you need something long wearing, Freck Beauty. In terms of tone, I'd recommend Almond from Makeup by Mario. I'm wearing it today. I love this color. I fell in love with this tone this past year since I picked it up. This would be my number one recommendation this sale season. For gloss, I have a few. So it was hard to limit this down, but this is the last category. And then I'm gonna talk about some sets that I saw that if I didn't already have the products, I would be purchasing sets. That's something that appeals to me as a makeup lover is to try more products in a set, the value of a set. So we will get there. 
I recently tried the new faux filler from Huda Beauty wearing that today again this is a pink with sparkle it's nude with high high shine if you're looking for the glossiest of glossy all three of these recommendations are for you so this smells good it looks good high shine has a little bit of sparkle in it so really catches the light beautifully makes your lips look super full this is my favorite gloss formula ever though. It's the one from Giorgio Armani. It's the Prisma Gloss. They have a duo, which I would recommend maybe checking out, but this is the shade 04, which I have. It's a sheer cherry. I'm going through this like crazy. This is my everyday gloss. I love the color and the finish. It's a gel type of gloss, which I like because a gel consistency is not sticky like creams can be. It is very long wearing and has this slip to it that I feel like makes for the best sort of consistency in a gloss. I'm team gel sort of consistency. I feel like it wears better on my lips and just has a better feel. So it's the formula of this and the shine. I love it so, so much. And then for my fellow Canadians, we have Morphe and they have these drip glasses and they're so pretty. High shine, these have way more pigment. So depending on what you're looking for, you're gonna get pigment and shine with these. And I have the shade Polish Peach. So if you're looking for a nice peachy nude gloss, this is it. And that's all my products I have on hand to recommend to you guys. I don't have a fragrance this year cause I've been using the exact same ones and anything new just hasn't taken the place on Sephora at least nothing new has taken the place of clean reserve which they do have a set I am going to be going through my sets now took some time off camera to see what I personally would buy based on what I have that's in a set that I think is a good value. I actually already purchased this and this keeps going in and out of stock and that's why I got it before the sale. It's the Kosas Mini Blush is Life Trio set. I already got that. So obviously I would recommend picking that up because it's something that I literally just bought. One of my top recommendations is this Makeup Forever Mini Artist Color Pencil Lip Liner and Eyeliner Kit. This is $53 Canadian, $81.25 value. Such good colors in that set. If I didn't already have all of them, I would be picking up this set. Summer Fridays has their mini neutrals lip butter balm set. Incredible if you're looking to try Summer Fridays or you wanna add some different colors to your collection. I got this last year and I would get that again. When you watch my wish list after this video, you will understand my no need for lip products. <laughs> right now. This is on my wish list, so sneak peek. I already mentioned this. It's the Say Mini Do Blush Trio set. Also blush is a problem. I said this before too. It is the Say Mini Glowy Super Gel, and that's an illuminator set. You get two in there. If you're looking to try this product I recommend, I would check out the set, my gloss set. I'm just gonna link all the sets <laughs> to the products because everything is in a set. Even these Morphe Hot and Bothered Drip Glass Lip Gloss Duo, that's in a set two there. We have the inky list set already mentioned that. Okay. Let's go to what I haven't mentioned. So I was talking about fragrance. We have the clean reserve skin fan favorite travel spray set, $66 Canadian, $93 value. I have the full size of clean. I went through a travel, but that scent is me in a bottle, like number one scent. So please check it out. If you were ever looking to check out that scent that I've recommended, now is the time that set is incredible. And then Glow Recipe, I love. They have a couple sets here that I would purchase, but this one's really good. This is $43 and it has a $73 value. It got almost a full five-star rating. It's the Dewy Skin Dazzlers Kit. It has niacinamide, the regular dew drops. It has the Hue Drops, which are bronzer drops. And then it has the Fine Mist Spray. All three I use, all three I love, and a great little value. So for sets, those are the things that I would pick up if I didn't already have the products, and some of them I'm actually picking up. <laughs> so helping myself out for this video, but that is everything for this Sephora recommendations video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love filming these for you guys. My favorite thing is you guys telling me that you love my recommendations. It makes this all worth it for you guys to pick up things that you love like I love. This isn't a job to me, this is a passion. It is a love. I've been doing this before you could even make money. <laughs> like I love makeup, I know that comes across <laughs> because you guys see my passion for it, but I really and truly wanna help you 
find products that you love as much as I do. And if there's anything you need help with, I'm more than happy to help you prior to the sale. You can leave a comment down below, DM me, whatever is easiest for you. I'm happy to help. So thank you so much for trusting me with these recommendations. I love these videos, as I said, and I cannot wait to share with you my wish list. I filmed it a little differently. We have a little commentary coming and it's just gonna be a really fun new video that put a little twist on my wish list, which I usually share in these videos. So that will be coming up if you're curious to see what I'm actually buying during the sale. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this video. I love you guys so, so much. If you haven't already, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next one.